No. Here we have the autonomous system. So it's the understanding of this structure, you've got to now see at, at like an individual level. This is the, the structure of the Freudian mind, or the, the function of an android, of an autonomous system that can take decisions. You've got to see it like a fractal of this structure, of these three triangle structures. So there we have the vanishing point, the point that we're driving at, the point that we're looking at, the point in our minds that we're focusing on. Here we have the driver, which in our sense is the ego, in the Freudian sense is the ego, in the sense of the autonomous system it's a driver. So you've got to put yourself in the position of the driver, the position of the ego, to understand the whole structure. You find that understanding the whole structure fits in with your understanding of the uh, senses, etc., from uh, from other videos. So, the driver sees, judges the speed of the other traffic. The driver recognizes the surface, recognizes the people that he meets, recognizes the the, the road. There we have the, the, the vanishing point that where we're aiming for, so there we have the steering. Remember we're talking about an autonomous system now, like ourselves. So there we have the driver, the ego, there's the steering, there's the accelerator. So we can use the accelerator to control our relative acceleration with other devices, other cars, other vehicles, other human beings. Or we could relate on this model with androids built upon this model. So, so there we have the point, there we have the movement, so there we have the function of the sat nav. There we have the carrot and stick, the yes or no, you know, in the training. You've got to train a device in like a human being or a robot to do something. You get it to follow the signal. And then, if it doesn't follow the signal, it's a carrot or a stick. It's a yes or a no. And this, in terms of speed, so there we're keeping our safe distance from other traffic and judging the speed of that other traffic. We're recognizing the area we're passing through and the people we're meeting. Now here, this triangle is the relativity triangle. We've got the motor, the engine, they've got the place and the time. So there we've got the schedule triangle. So the driver's got to be in a certain place at a certain time. The time is in the is a, a character set. This is, is the set the level of music, of sound, so it's a level of voice, of speech. So here we have the ability to read or the ability to, to rec voice recognition along this function. Here from the motor to the time we have a rev counter, the tuning of the engine. From the driver to the motor we have stop go, this is actually stop go, which I haven't written on it, I've just put a break. But it's a brake. So there we've got the brake. There we've got the accelerator, which mathematically is the differential. There we've got the face recognition, which mathematically is the integral. So all you do realize that all of these circles, these spheres, run concatenate back into each other. There's actually one set of points. So all the points are repeated. And this structure is, you know, theoretical. It's an abstract model. But it's also a mechanical model. So we can actually see that we actually drive towards a point. We can actually adjust our speed and our, with our accelerator. And we can recognize the surface. So we can know whether it's right, y yes or no. See, there from the timing to the, to the uh, place, to the face, we've got right or wrong. 
So this could be yes or no to stop or, or let us go, but this could be a right or wrong in terms of a sequence. You know, we might have to wait our turn for entering traffic. Here we've got the temperature from the heat to the space. You've got the temperature. You know, we've got the intensity that the engine's running at and everything else. You, and there you've got the motor. There you've got the actual vehicle. And so obviously connecting the vehicle to the motor, you've got the clutch and the gears which operate on this function, this is the clutch of the gears. In the robotic device, this would be some hands, and that would be an object, we could move, so there's an object in our object relations, in our inventory of objects. How it works, you see, is we see on this level, at the quantum level, two-dimensional surfaces. And from those two-dimensional surfaces, we then build up three-dimensional objects. <laughs> At a later stage, we can see a two-dimensional two surface, and so we recognize there's a three-dimensional object there, you know, from our possessions, from, say, a corner of an object, we recognize the whole object. So we have an inventory of objects, which in Freudian terms is the object relations, you know, the relationship with the objects, that were around when we were born. In Freudian terms, the vehicle is our body, the motor is the id, you know, our, our, our libido. Then we have the pressure that we're under, which gives us feelings. The object relations, obviously, you know, give us all sorts of envy and things. Then the objects to the time, we then, it is about sequence, the sequence of the objects that's right or wrong, yes or no. There's a parallel in meanings. So this is the face recognition, this is the recognition of compatibility, and this is the recognition of, of position, of fitting in, of measuring up. This is about moving, this is about the temperature of moving, you know, uh, of the, the, the um, vibration of, of the molecules. And this is the relative acceleration. So the autonomous device, the ego, can be taught to drive, to steer, to accelerate, to stop, go, to break, and obviously to move through the objects on a certain schedule and, and be in the moment with the other objects, uh, the, the movement of other objects and its relationship with them. So we have the Freudian model, we've got the body, the id, the ego, and then the superego. In the time, we've got, we've, then we've got the character, we've got the oral and anal characters from Freud. We've got, as I say, mother, father, our, our home, you know, you know, place of birth, you know, our, our feelings, the pressures. So all of this psychology of Freud can be related to an autonomous system, and by we can understanding both, we can understand you know, ourselves and understand a robot that can you know can copy us. Okay.